Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to build a simple barometer out of household items that you can use to track pressure changes where you live. So to get started on building this project, you only need a few household items. The first is a sturdy container. This is a plastic one. Ideally, you'd want to use like a glass mason jar or some type of can. Um, so a soft plastic soda bottle or, or an aluminum can is not going to work very well, but a sturdy like tin vegetable can or soup can, um, a glass mason jar again, or, or in this case a sturdy, a fairly sturdy plastic cup uh, will work fairly well. You need a balloon that's big enough to fit over the top of that container. This is a 12 inch balloon when you blow it up and this is a four inch diameter cup here so i need this is about the right size for this container uh, if you had like a soup can that was a little bit smaller than this you probably want to use like a nine inch diameter balloon that would fit well you don't want to use a balloon that's too small because it's not going to fit obviously a balloon that's too big is going to be too loose and it won't fit snugly and you need to, you need to have an airtight seal on the top of your container so the right size of balloon is really the critical factor here other than that, you're gonna need something to act as a pointing device for your barometer. I'm using a barbecue skewer that's about a foot long. You could also use a regular drinking straw, glue a toothpick to the end of that to kind of act as a pointer. Uh, something like that would work fine as well. Uh, I'm using some tape to help hold things together, mainly to help hold the balloon to the cup so it doesn't go flying off. Um, a marker just to mark on the, the board um, for the pressure changes, uh, a pair of scissors for cutting the balloon, and then a few pieces of scrap foam board. You could use, use uh, some wood, something that would make it look pretty nice as well, obviously. Um, in this case, I'm using three pieces of foam board. One's about four by 14 inches, one's about four by eight inches, and one's about one by eight. And this is basically just to build this little base here to glue the cup to and to have the pointer uh, pointing at something so you can readily see whether the pressure is rising or falling and track that over the course of uh, days and weeks. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and take the balloon. Uh, you need to basically cut the neck of this off. You obviously can't stretch this opening all the way over the top of a four inch diameter cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it basically right uh, where the neck goes into the main body of the balloon. Cut that part off. You can discard the neck piece and then take your container and basically stretch your balloon as much as you can to basically fit over to, to fit over the mouth of your container. Okay, it's kind of like a drum. Um, that's kind of what you want. Take some packing tape, wrap that around the edge of the balloon and the cup so it stays on there nicely. And again, you could use some hot glue or something else to help hold it firmly as well. But, uh, some tape around the outside edge will work fine. Okay, the next step is to build our little base structure here. So I'm gonna take this uh, piece of foam core. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue to the base of the cup. You don't need very much. You could also just use some double-sided tape or something as well. I'm gonna basically glue that towards the outer side or outer edge of our base piece. I'm gonna take the other two base pieces, um, basically put them in sort of a T-shape like this to basically help uh, be a little bit stronger. So I'll run some glue on the edge of one of, of the small foam board piece. Apply that to the back of the larger one. And then apply glue to the bottom of the whole T-shaped structure, which I can then stick on the other side of my base. I'll scrape a little bit of the glue off there, make it look a little bit better. And so now all you have left to do is to attach your pointer. So I'll just basically add a little bit of glue directly to the end of the skewer. Put that as close as you can to the middle of your container and try to get it to where the pointer is basically very close towards the foam board on this side. But you don't want it to be actually touching because the friction of that might prevent it from moving freely. But basically, so it's right in front of it. And then to help uh, hold things here, you can add a little bit of tape. And really, you could just tape this on there if you wanted to, um, and it 
would probably work well enough for you. This will help uh, make sure everything stays in place while the glue dries and I don't uh, move it around too much. And so then all we have to left to do is mark the scale on this side. So I'll mark where it is now. And I can mark a few. You can go ahead and measure this carefully and make it look a little bit nicer. But just to demonstrate here, we'll put a little scale there. We'll mark this side as high. This part down here as low. And so what will happen now is since we've pretty much sealed this container, uh, the air inside here can't really get out and it's at a fixed pressure. Now the atmospheric pressure around us here in the room will change based on weather conditions. And so as the pressure outside increases, it's going to force the, this uh, rubber uh, membrane from the balloon inward and that will in turn push this pointer up towards the high. Uh, likewise, when the pressure drops in the room, the air inside the container will now be a higher pressure than the room pressure and it's going to basically force the, the balloon membrane here to sort of bulge up in the middle and that's going to in turn force the pointer down on this side towards our low side. Now, the actual movement here is going to depend on how long your pointer is. The longer the pointer is, the more movement you'll see on this side. Uh, in reality, with something like this, you're only going to see a movement maybe, you know, at most an inch, an inch or so each direction, probably not even that much. Uh, this one here, you where it's at right now, um, at this mark here, it's basically varied from this uh, mark up here to this mark down here. So just over an inch total uh, since I built it. So it doesn't, it's not going to be a huge margin up and down, but it will be enough for where you can see it fluctuate during the course of a day and during the course of a week. Uh, now one thing you can do is this is just obviously an arbitrary scale, but if you're watching your local weather forecast or you go on the weather service page or, or some other uh, weather site where they do have the pressure reading at a local observation station, you can, you can see what the pressure reading is, see where your pointer is pointing, and then write, make a mark there and write down what the pressure is at that mark. You can come back again you know, some days later or, or a week later when the pressure is different and maybe it'll be 29.8 or whatever. And then you can mark what that is on here. And then this way you can kind of calibrate your barometer to what the local weather station is reporting and get something that's relatively, you know, reasonably accurate uh, in terms of actual pressure. And so by doing that over the course of, you know, a longer period of time, you can more or less get a full scale on here of uh, what the actual pressures, uh, you know, are gonna be for your barometer based on the output that it's showing by this little pointer here. And again, uh, if you build this out of something, you know, with like a wood base, it'll be a little bit, you know, more accurate. This obviously can bend a little bit, you know, since it's just foam board. And so that's going to obviously impact your reading here. Uh, and so ideally, if you do something like this, you really, you want to leave it somewhere on a table or, or, you know, on a dresser somewhere in your room and just let it stay there and don't touch it. Because if you do move it around very much, you know, if you just build it out of cardboard or foam board, you're obviously going to have some possible uh, error induced by your movement. Um, again, if you make it out of wood, you know, that's going to make it a little bit sturdier and, and it'll probably work a little bit better for you. But anyway, that's a simple barometer you can make that can show you pressure changes uh, where you live and you can use that in turn to help forecast the weather trends uh, in your area. So anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.